Earlier we mentioned that the pages in our site structure, our, our structure hierarchy, are divided into two areas. The master border area, which is the bounding area, the margins of the page, so to speak, which is highlighted in red when you click in it, and the layout area where the changeable content um, uh, is placed. What I'm going to do now is start dropping objects into the layout area because that's what Net Objects Fusion is all about. It allows us to take digitally encoded objects like text, graphics, animations, etc., and fuse them into a page for viewing on the net. Now, the toolbar that's of interest to us is right here. This tool palette contains a variety of objects, text, picture, hotspots, tables. These are the most common objects that you would incorporate into a website. Well, we'll start with the text tool. I'm going to click on it. And notice that it looks highlighted because it's been selected. And then I'm going to click and drag within the bounds of the layout area to form a bounding box. Now, in this area, in our design for the ePortfolio website, we're going to ask you to write a little bit about your philosophy of education. And you can simply type into this area as you would in any word processor. Notice that when I'm in this text box, the text property palette appears, and I'll move it over a little closer. This indicates the font, what kind of uh, font effects you have, whether it's left aligned, centered, or right aligned, etc. So I'll demonstrate a little bit as to how that works. Let me click and drag on the words philosophy of education, and then I'll select font style Verdana and I can adjust the point size. Let's make it 12. And I can even boldface it. Well, I'm going to open up a line. Oh, I misspelled philosophy. I did that intentionally because I wanted to demonstrate that NetObjects has a built-in spell checker. You see that? Isn't that wonderful? So let's hit the Enter key here, open up a line, and notice that boldface is still active. So I'm going to click on that to turn it off. And then I'm going to do a little Rachel Ray uh, trick uh, that I guess Rachel Ray learned from Julia Child. I actually have some pre-written text here on my philosophy of education, and I'm going to edit, copy that. And then I'm going to just click right inside this text box and right-click to paste it in place. There we go. So... Um, I'm a social constructivist, a constructionist, I should say, and uh, this is single-spaced text, so I'm going to add some paragraph breaks just to open it up a little bit. But this is how we work with uh, NetObjects Fusion. Basically, uh, we can drop text in, in, in a text region. We can... Uh, add paragraph breaks if we so choose, just as we would in the case of a word processor. And furthermore, this font, if I click and drag on it, this font is an automatic style. I'm going to actually force it to be Verdana. I'll select Verdana and uh, I'll make it 12 point. We can do other things too. Uh, we can highlight the text and italicize it. We can highlight the text and choose the uh, font color option to make it a different color. And we can select the text and center it if we so choose. So all of the standard uh, features that you'd expect to see in a word processor are available to us here.